Uh, all right, so go ahead and open yours. Mine's actually already opened. Oh, gosh. How do I even do that? Open up. What are you doing? Have you ever opened a pop top? No. Shut up. Really? Wait. I always have a guy open it for me. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> yeah. do you I don't. It? Oh, my gosh. That sounds like so bad, but I yes. really don't. I just go, mm, can you open <laughs> yeah, this for me? Like, nail, nail, <laughs> nail. <laughs> Anyone? And I guess I'm doing pretty well. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Bird Watching Podcast, where we ask chicks questions to get answers for you guys. Today, I have a very special <laughs> guest. Her name is Maggie Mitz. What's going on, Maggie? <laughs> Nothing much. <laughs> Living lavish? Exactly. Exactly. Yep. All the time. <laughs> Period. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So first thing we do on the podcast we tried a rooster review, which is a beverage. Okay. So we're going to try these out today, and then we're going to give it a review. Ooh, okay. All right. And make sure it. your review has a decimal, because no decimals is rookie scores. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I will try and give it a decimal. Yep. I'm very interested. Well, it's already getting a knockoff because it has a Santa on it, but it's not Christmas. Yeah, we're not pumped about that at all. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like pretty pissed. <laughs> all right, so go ahead and open yours. Mine's actually already opened. Oh, gosh. How do I even do that? Open up. What are you doing? Have you ever opened a pop top? No. Shut up. Really? Wait. I always have a guy open it for me. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> yeah. Do you have I don't. Oh, my gosh. That sounds like so bad, but I That's... really don't. I just go, mm, can you open yeah, this for me? like, male, male, male. <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> so all you have to do, it's just a twist. So it's just like you twist True. it off. Oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Love it. See, great. now it'll be so much better that I didn't have to do the work. Right, part. exactly. Oh, I see what you did. You actually do know how to open them. You just always do no, that. No, I one. actually I really, no, I, like, on God, I actually really don't. <laughs> I love that. That's awesome. That is so fun. All right, so today we're trying out the Frosty Strawberry Watermelon Soda. Um, if you've tried this, I'd be surprised because I've never, ever seen this before. But before. you have. Yep, you had. You were the Jake was the first guy to actually point it out to me, and then I I ended up buying a couple for the podcast specifically. So it's big back in the Midwest. So. Is it? Oh, oh uh, I didn't know that. I'm from the Midwest, and I've yeah, we seen both him. are. So we have. Yeah, what to. the heck? A frosty. Oh really? Shout out. Love it. Dope. All right. Well, let's try these puppies out. Give it a review. All right, you ready? Mm-hmm. Knock it. Amazing. And dock it. Mmm. Tastes a little like diabetes. <laughs> but I like it. It does. It's it's very sour and it's very sweet. Yeah. It tastes I, like a Jolly Rancher. It does taste like a watermelon Jolly Rancher to me. It's like a good, like, it's sweet, but then after you drink it, you kind of like, it's like a lemon, you know? Ooh, yeah. It's got a little bite to it, doesn't it? It's got a little sting. I don't mind that, though. No, I do like it. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. All right, do you have a review for the watermelon oh, for the soda? the Frosty? Yeah. Well, I think because it's from the Midwest, it yeah. automatically higher score. You got to, yeah. Because. Gotta represent. I didn't have to open it. Automatically higher score. Right. That's amazing, too. <laughs> um, what are we at, like 12 out of 10 already? <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, so, th I mean, I, I will always stick with Diet Coke. Right. That's like, your I drink of choice? I love Diet Coke. It's okay. Like, so bad. Like, well, it's bad how much I love it. So, I'm going to, just because it's not Diet Coke, probably, like, mm, an eight and a half. Wow. Not bad. 8.5. Pretty yeah. solid. It's pretty good. It actually It really is. does taste like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. Mm-hmm. Like. That's the best Jolly Rancher flavor. Yeah. 100%. Not, not true, but. The green I, apple? Oh, probably on my, the bottom of my totem pole. What? Yeah, probably. No way. My favorite's probably grape and then blue raspberry. Oh, grape I'm, though, but it stains your tongue. I know, I love then that. Then you got you like that? I love it. Like cherry. Cherry's cherry? okay. Cherry's just so. Cherry, cherry, like, cherry's kind of like a grandma flavor. It's just so run of the mill to me. It's yeah. Just like cherry's I mean, just like basic. Your, that's your ground floor. Like that's your five, and then blue raspberry's like your ten or like whatever the. What would you rate green apple? I'd probably put cherry over green apple. Yeah, is that bad? Uh, Unless, unless, unless it's a green apple with caramel on it. Those caramel yeah. suckers. Oh, those are so busting. good. I don't those know if that's so like, bad. I don't know if that's like a Midwest sucker, but I see, I, I think, never see those out here. No, I agree. Everybody always has like, 
like you know the RAs at GCU. Yeah. They'll have like caramels in their bin, mint suckers, but they never ever have the caramel apple ones. Mm, those are the best. I used to love getting those during Halloween. Like if yeah. somebody dropped them in my bag, I was like, you're like I'm coming back here next year. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Along right with the, the king size candy bars. <laughs> yes, for real. <laughs> those gotta... neighbors got blessed. I swear. <laughs> I still remember all their last uh, names. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Henderson, Johnson, it's Anderson. Yeah, yeah. yeah literally. <laughs> right. Nelsons. Yeah, right. I, those are fun days. I'm, I miss trick or treating a little bit. I do remember. We're totally getting sidetracked, but who cares? Oh yeah. It's I remember Halloween like trick or treating, and I stopped. I think at like eleven or twelve, and then I had a ton of homies. That would yeah. go into like 17, 18. Like they went really? to like the end of high school. And my parents they were like. The limits. Yeah, they really yeah. did. And my yeah. parents were always like, oh, that's dumb. Like, that's stupid. You're not supposed to trick or treat anymore. But I was the one without candy. So obviously. Exactly. They were doing something right. You got to count your wins and count your losses. That's exactly. A little embarrassment and a lot of candy. Yeah. Or no candy and a little embarrassment. Yeah. Like. Which one are you taking? Exactly. Yeah, probably the latter. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right. Well, I'm going to go. I actually do like it too. I think it's very tasty and it's it's un- unique enough to give it a, a good score. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go eight point two. Mm, so right around where okay. you're at, maybe a little bit less. Yeah. And yeah. then where are you putting Diet Coke? Is that like a ten? Is that like the unicorn? Oh my gosh! To me, like that's not on a rating. Like it's just its own thing. Oh, like, okay. That's, it's like soda. And that's then it's like, the destination. Is oh, Diet Coke? Yeah, yeah. That's the and utopia. then everything else is just like dropping down. Right, 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 right. In my opinion. <laughs> But that's so bad. My mom actually gets on me all the time about it. Really? She's like, it's so bad for your Maggie. Yeah, it is. Aspartame. But there's so much like stuff out there that you can exactly. consume and it's not good for you. So. I'd rather die like a year earlier and be drinking my Diet Coke. Right. Than yeah. And die on your death later <laughs> and be unhappy without my Diet Coke. Right. right. So. Obviously, you figured out this whole life thing. <laughs> Depends on how you look at it. I think I'm just an optimist, so. Okay. That's not the worst thing ever, is it? I like that. Oh, that's funny. All right, so first game we're going to play. It's called Head Scratcher. Mm. This is how it works. Okay. I'm going to read you five trick questions. If you can get three out of the five correct, you get a $10 scratch off. Okay. That's right here. Okay. And you can win up to $100,000. Oh, okay, I'm in need of money right now. Are you? Okay. <laughs> yes. This would, this would probably pay for yours and your roommate's tuition, so. <laughs> Student loans out the window. <laughs> yeah, Here we no, go. No sweat. Pressure's on. All right. Are you ready for your first head scratcher question? I am. Here it is. All right. You have no use for it unless it is broken. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Give me a second. You have no Take use for it unless it is broken. Okay. Well, this could sound like stupid but i think it's like kind of valid it's the first thing that popped into my mind yeah what are you thinking ice like it has to be broken up or you can't use it because if it's a block of ice you can't use it you need cubes you're right you gotta break the ice you know what like I'm, a nice breaker i'm gonna give it to you because it is a valid answer but it's not what you were it's looking not for. the answer we were looking for the answer is an egg Oh, that's so but, good. But an ice block actually makes sense because you're not just going to use an ice. Like, what are you going to use an ice block for? Exactly. You need to break it up into cubes or crush. Yeah. Or like, I don't know. I guess yep. you could use a big sheet of ice for skating. But that's not even a sh- like that's like nature. Yeah. That's I like, mean, I guess that's like, na- that's like that's like God. Yeah, literally. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll give that one to you. OK, yeah, we're, you we're, we're here to have fun anyway. So who cares? Here's your second one. What number of the same animal did Moses allow to enter the ark? <gasps> Wait, stop. I think I know this one. Do you? Mm. Well, if you're considering like a human, a mammal, uh-huh. obviously. An animal, not a mammal. Do you want me to read it again? Yeah. What number of the same animal did Moses allow to enter the ark? I can tell it's like a riddle. Like the answer is in the sentence, isn't it? By the way you're saying it. <laughs> they all are. There's there's always a trick. In, That's even worse. In the question, yeah. Um, Of the same. Can you give me a hint? No. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I, I could, know. Maggie. I wish I could. Um, Of the same animal. Yeah. I don't. Ah. Uh, I'm just gonna. Are you laughing? Cause it's easy. It's easy. Uh, I think I have it. Do you think you have it? 
Do you have it? All right. You're... Would you like to phone a friend? You can phone Jake. Let's see if Jake can get it. Yeah, Jake. Jake, what's the answer? Is it every? Huh? Is what? Every animal? Uh, what number of the same animal? Two. Did Moses... Is it two? Two animals. He let two, a male and a female, so that they could reproduce. Yeah. Well, it was actually Noah's ark, not Moses' ark. <gasps> Well, but you didn't ask that. <laughs> yes, I did. What number of the same animal did Moses allow to enter the ark? Moses wasn't on the ark. That's the answer. <laughs> that was not the question. <laughs> Roll the tape. Here's your second one. What number of the same animal did Moses allow to enter the ark? <gasps> Wait, stop. I think I know this one. Do you? <laughs> that was no because you're asking about the number of animals you weren't asking about moses what number of the oh same my animals God, did moses that's so bad that i didn't uh, i should have literally uh, i should have listened to that more carefully uh-huh that's actually horrible that i did not get that <laughs> you're like i got i'm this. like I moses is ark i was like wasn't he the burning bush <laughs> i thought i thought you were getting it when you said you were like um the you, answer's in the yeah. question and i was like it is yeah it is yeah you're like it's, it's not, not even moses. moses right but you're like Two, <laughs> which, <laughs> which is right for Noah. Two. It was two per animal. Yeah. But that's oh, all right. Okay. We'll move on. Okay. Uh, you're one for two right now. Let's see if you can get the third one. Okay. What is something that only has one foot, one bed, and four legs? One foot, one bed. But four one legs. head. Oh, and, one head. And four legs. And four legs. has a foot yep but it only has it has one foot but four legs uh-huh one foot one head four legs <laughs> phone to <of> jake <laughs> i'm trying to decide if i'm stupid or <laughs> i feel like okay i honestly don't really know yeah <laughs> but i would guess like well, I know it's not going to be this because it's going to be something obvious because it's a riddle and oh, it wasn't, it wasn't Moses, it was Noah. <laughs> but so I already know it's going to be something like that. But uh -huh. all I can think of is a dinosaur of some type. <laughs> a type of dinosaur? Like, like a, a spider. No, a spider doesn't have feet. I think they have eight legs. And no feet. And no feet. Well, I mean, technically they probably have feet. Isn't a foot just something that touches the ground? Oh. <gasps> That's is that a clue. Hint? Is That's that a, clue? a clue. It's really not a great clue, though. One foot, one head, four legs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, yeah, it's a what, piece of furniture. What is it? A piece of furniture. What kind of furniture? A chair. It's not a chair. <laughs> <laughs> a sofa. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bed. Okay. Foot of the bed, head of the bed. Yeah, but Four who legs. really says that? Um, foot of the bed for sure. Head of the bed. I don't bottom. Know. Go to the bottom of the bottom bed. Bottom of the bed. I'm not. I'm not gonna give it to you for chair. Unfortunately. Yeah. Okay. No. 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 I accept that. I accept that. <laughs> I accept that. You literally gave the answer to me, and I got it wrong because I got too You're excited. Like, it's a furniture. It's a futon. <laughs> <laughs> it's obviously a bean bag. <laughs> right. Right. Actually, I probably would have accepted futon. That really? does make sense. Because it's a bed, too. Yeah, it's convertible. It is convertible. Multi-usage. All right, let's go to the fourth one. If you can get these last two correct, Kay. you still get the scratch-off. Okay. We haven't had a ton of people get the scratch-offs yet. These are kind of tough. Okay. So, here's your fourth one. What kind of bird is so strong it can lift a car? <laughs> well, isn't there such thing as, like, a piece of an equipment that's a bird? Like, don't they call it a bird? But it's like a piece of equipment. You're super close. You got it. Like, <laughs> it's a piece of equipment. It is a piece of equipment. That moves things. But it's not called a bird. A birdie. It's not called a birdie. It's not like, it's not, it's a, uh, yeah. You're so close. Like a. Uh, it's a piece of equipment. It's like gold. It doesn't have like those little claws and it goes from the sky like on Toy Story. Ah. Yes. Yes. What's that called? The claw. Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 you're so close you're so close think think bigger equipment and it's also a bird it's like a tow truck almost like a tower a tower's hand that comes down and picks it up you're so close why are you i see now he knows it i don't know you equipment. Know it? i don't even know how to do you want to phone a friend you, would you like to phone jake. a jake 
talking about like a scrapyard or like a dealership? <gasps> Wait, a junkyard little thingy. What's that called? Oh. It's also a bird. It's also a type of bird. A <gasps> Yeah, oh it is, it is my a, gosh! Yep, yep, yep. We'll yep. give that to you. You were you were right on the money, so okay, we're gonna okay. give it to you. Okay, okay, except. All right, so you need to get this last one to get the scratch off, though. Okay. So this is a big one. Okay. This is like super important. Okay. <laughs> Pressure's on. This probably has no money on it. <laughs> like we're <laughs> stressing about it so much. Like I can't even get a free <laughs> sip and save. <laughs> my diet coke. Yeah, Danielle. We had a girl won fifty bucks, and another girl won ten. But then, Wait, actually? yeah, but then the other like three guests that we've had on, they did not win. So it's like pretty much split if you get it. But I'm not the other three guests. So yeah, that's so question. true. She forgot it here. And so did Greta. Actually. Okay, I will take hers. <laughs> Charity. <laughs> that's so nice. Of you. <laughs> All right. Here is your last question. What is something that has a lot of holes but still holds water? Okay, well, I hate to go back to the ice cubes, mm -hmm. but an ice cube tray does have little holes in it, little divots that holds the water and then freezes it. Mm. It's not correct, but I like logically, I do like, like that it answer. is there, like that right. makes it's sense. There. Do I give it to you? A little, a lot of holes. It's but. not an ice tray, but that's a great guess. Okay. I don't think I can give it to you on the last one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I would have to agree. What was the answer though? <laughs> you don't. You want it? You're done? I mean, okay, wait, let me think. Yeah, you got it. A lot of holes in it. Something that has a lot of holes, but it still holds water. Something in the fridge. I'm not, not giving you that. Okay, well, I know I'm thinking, like, pretty, like, detailed here. Yeah. But, like, a water filter has little holes in it because it purifies the water. And it still holds water? Yeah. Or even, like... The water filter itself doesn't... Like, the actual part that has holes doesn't necessarily hold water. A lot of holes in it, but it holds water. A faucet has a hole in it. And it holds but water. But the water comes out of You're it. You're hitting, like, everything else but the right answer. But the most obvious one. Yeah. <sighs> a lot of holes in it, but it's If you can give water. me one more alternative, I'll give it to you. And if you can guess the right one, I'll give it to you. Okay, okay. A hydro flask has a hole at the bottom of the straw and a hole at the top of the straw, <laughs> but it still holds your water. Uh, I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give it to you, but it's a sponge. But, oh, oh, I do not <laughs> agree with that. Yeah, But right? I don't a really sponge? agree with that. A sponge really does not hold that much water. I was thinking but, like volume, like right. I drink yeah, this like, water. Like a lot of water. Yeah. Well, like a towel holds a lot of water. That is true. It, but uh, towels kind of have holes in them, like, I guess. That's kind of a tough question, though. It, it, yeah, it could be pretty much anything. Yeah. So we're going to give it to you. Okay. You, you got it. So so we'll have you scratch it off on the pod. I do have a okay. quarter for you as well. I had I'm it locked so in my excited. pocket. I love it. So this one, uh, we've actually done this one before. Uh, I can't remember how it works, though. I think you have to scratch off the top ones first. Okay. And then you scratch off the rest, and you might have to read off the instructions, though. That's the one Danielle wanted. Yeah, yeah. Can I, I just start scratching the top yeah, and go all the way down? Go for it. Okay. Have you ever done a scratch off before? Um, I have done like once. Okay. Twice. So one scratch off, but never opened a bottle cap. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you there. <laughs> Sometimes effort's just hard. Yeah, okay. effort is tough sometimes. We didn't even we didn't even take an attempt at reading the instructions today. No, we didn't. We didn't. We don't need to though. Honestly, I'm too impatient. It better just say like you want a hundred thousand dollars. Exactly, in gold <laughs> writing. Winner, winner. <laughs> yeah, right. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. <sighs> oh my gosh. Oh my god. Yeah, this game. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you just said, but yes. Uh, yep. Period. I feel like I'm gonna get your table so dirty now. No, it's totally fine. You can just brush on the floor. I have to vacuum after, anyways. Okay. I feel a little bit bad about that. Okay. All right. All my numbers are here. Okay, and now you have to scratch off the top ones. I think you have to just match one. Oh, of my them. winning numbers. Yeah. I'm going to do it slowly. <laughs> After you just did half of them, I saw that. <laughs> I mean, three out of five. Like, Yeah, you got so much time left. Have you okay. won out of the first three yet? Uh, nope. <laughs> uh, How about the last two? Oh, my gosh. Do we have a winner? 
No. no. Oh, how sad. sad. That is so uh, brutal. Twitch Danielle's with her. Yeah. Oh my gosh, she just yeah, won $50. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, where do I turn this into? <laughs> the gas station. Did it win? No, it didn't. Mine didn't win, but oh. I was going to trade it in for Daniel. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. I see what you're doing over there. Yeah, yeah. But no, it's okay. Smart cookie. Wait, sad. That is a bummer. Shoot. Well, well, hey, maybe next time we have you on the pod, you'll win. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> there's, there's always next there's time. Always we next cannot time. all be winners. Yeah, that's true. Someone has to lose. <laughs> yeah, that is Unfortunately. true. Unfortunately. <laughs> All right, so next segment we're going to do, we're going to talk about relationships a little bit. Mm. So we're going to talk about boys and you know mm-hmm. dating and all that fun stuff. Yeah. So here's your first question. Okay. Do you believe in second chances? Mm. I would say I believe in second chances or like I hope and optimize for second chances, being the optimist of me. Yeah, yeah. But do I necessarily always trust that the second chance is going to have the outcome that I want? Yeah. No. Right. But I also think that it depends on what the second chance is about. Like pertaining to. Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. And also, I think that, like, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and respect expecting a different result. True. So, if you're giving someone a second chance, but, like, the products or factors that went into that mistake or situation in the first place haven't changed, then you're an idiot. True. So... Sorry, that's, like, really mean. No, but that's so facts. Because like, a lot of people are like, okay, like, well, the timing's different. Or they feel sorry. Like, yeah. I'll give them a second chance. Like, I, no. sorry is good. Like, timing is good. Those are all necessary things. But if the underlying, like, roots, like, the character, the habits, right. the beliefs, if that stuff hasn't changed, you can't substitute those things. No, you can't expect a different result. Mm-mm. Like unless the thing that caused the breakup has completely changed and took a 180, mm-hmm. there's no reason for you to believe that like, oh, but he's like nicer now or like right, right. he's more apologetic. He was never like right. this before or like he shows me more attention, mm-hmm. stuff like that. It's like those are great things. Yeah. They probably should have been there in the first place too. Totally. But whatever the actual issue is, if it hasn't changed, right, there's right. no reason why the outcome would change. Yeah. Yeah. So, and nice and attention. Those are all like great things. Right. And necessary things but like the root of like why wasn't he giving that to you in the first place was it because like he wasn't actually secure in himself and confident in himself right and therefore like he had trouble giving that to you Mm, or was always just looking for that reassurance himself because he didn't have it like if he hasn't worked on his own outlets for like confidence or happiness or whatever it is then like he can give it for a short time for sure. Yep. That's, but it takes him rowing his own boat and eventually the current's going to push him right back. Yeah, exactly. That's what it, we, we've talked about that a little bit in other podcasts. But like if if a guy is trying to get you back, he's going to mm-hmm. put up his best front, like almost a first impression again. Totally. That like is going to bring you back in. Yeah. But if you just take him back, it's going to be you're going to revert to the same old habits like yeah. within a month for yeah. sure. You know? Yep. He's just going to go back to the same ways once he gets comfortable again. Yeah. And also we're a product of our environment. True. So if the environment hasn't changed, then yeah. you don't expect the results to change. True. If he's hanging out with the same guys, same yeah. friend groups, um, yeah. you know, if he's going to the whatever. Same situations. Nothing's yeah. going to be different. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Good looks. Great question. Or great answer. <laughs> 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 good question yeah. jack i'm a bit of a narcissist <laughs> maybe that's something that i have to change anyway for another podcast yeah. <laughs> all right here's your next relationship question okay have you ever had an r song with a boyfriend <laughs> <laughs> he has yeah. someone has yeah. he said He's like, oh i have a good one for this <laughs> <laughs> have you ever had an r song with a boyfriend yes did you yeah what song was it Beyond by Leon something Bridges, I think. Leon Bridges Beyond. Yeah. So I, the thing about me is I never listen to music. Really? Except at the gym. Okay. And I also never, ever know the name of artists. I never sing the right words. Right. Like ever, (laughs) ever. It's so bad. Like I'm like, oh, that's my favorite song. And then I don't even sing the right words. Right. But I don't know. Cause I'm like, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Uh Like I like. I like the way it makes me feel. So right. what it says. <laughs> <laughs> so what what kind of music do you listen to in the gym then? Um, okay. P- 
personally, I'm not the type of gal that's going to take out the time out of her day and create this playlist and that playlist. Like, if they're talking about it in a conversation, I'll be like, oh, my gosh, yeah, that new song. Like, it's so I good. love that right, artist. Right. Or, like, we should so go to their concert. But then I go home and I have to Google, what even was that yeah, song? Yeah, well, what are they talking about? No, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's so honest, but... That's good. It's That's what we're truth. looking for. We want the honesty. But yeah. So, so Leon Bridges, um, yeah. Beyond. Mm-hmm. And how did that like spur? Was it like he was like, yo, I love the song. And then you're mm-hmm. like, I love the song too. And then you guys, it was just kind of like your guys' song or were you the one that found it? He found it. He started playing it one time. I think he said like that it made him think of me or reminded. Oh, sweet. Yeah. And then like it just kind of like stuck with, but. Is he's a good singer, that guy. Yeah, yeah. I think that, his name is Leon. Leon. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever his, his name, name is. starts with an L. <laughs> we can't even give but, him a shout out right now, but that's okay. No, but it is a really good song. And yeah, yeah. I think that's kind of how it started. But I like before that, when people would always be like, oh my gosh, I have an R song or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I'd always be like, Ugh, that is so out. weird. Yeah. Like, What are you working out together? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> What's Lil Baby or song? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so are you still with that guy? I am not, no. Do you still listen to that song, or does the song kind of, like, ick you out a little bit now? I haven't listened to it, no. Since? Uh-uh. Oh, wow. Interesting. But, oh, uh. like, I I don't want to say anything <laughs> mean, but, like, why would I yeah, that's want true. to? Like, no, yeah. And I don't even listen to music. True. But if it came on, I'd probably start being like, be on. Like, uh, I'd start singing along, yeah, for right, sure. Right, right, like, right, it's right. a good song. I had a song, when I, one of the girls that I dated that I was, like, really into. Mm-hmm. We had a song by um, James Bay. I think that's his name. And it was oh, called. Oh, I know who that is. Yeah, yeah. It's If You Ever Want to Be in Love or whatever. Something like that. It's like, if you ever want to be in love, I'll come around. That Oh, wait. Can you sing? Uh, no. But you can carry a tune. <laughs> <laughs> I can't carry a tune. <laughs> You heard it here first. <laughs> yeah, whatever. No, I appreciate that though, Jake. Thank you. Check, <laughs> check him out on Spotify. <laughs> no, that was that was like um, our song when we were dating. And then right after we broke up, I'm pretty sure I've heard that song maybe like once or twice since. Yeah. And every time it comes on, I'm like, nope, turn it off. Really? Like right away. Yeah. Aw, that's Which, sad. Which I feel like, I mean, <laughs> I'm playing right now. I feel like, I don't know. I just, I don't think I like, it's a good song. Yeah, right. You know? Great question. <laughs> that was a very good question. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right. Here's your next one. Have you ever been on a blind date? Ooh. Um, okay. Yes and no. Because I feel like, honestly... That question, like, as the day and age goes on, is just, like, more and more irrelevant because it's almost like every day or a lot of dates are at blind date because social media is where we meet a lot of people. True. And you've never actually seen them. There's Facetune. There is whatever. Like, I mean, more so I think this pertains to guys. Yeah. But I think a lot of guys could say that, like, they went on a blind date because they thought it was this person or it appeared as this person and then Photoshop filters this and that. Okay. But I like that take. So you're saying like most most dates you go on though could potentially be blind dates because you don't really know what they look like mm-hmm. just because so many pictures are doctored up. Totally. I think you could argue the same sense on the back end too or like the other side of it where right. it's like no date's a blind date anymore because every single time you go on a date with somebody they're like Yo, you should you should go out with my buddy uh, Jeremy, or you should Mm -hmm. go out with my buddy whatever, like Samantha. And then right when you hear about this person, what do you do? You go straight onto Instagram and look them up. You know what I mean? Like you want to see if you find them attractive. Hundred percent. So you know at least who they are, what they kind of look like. Mm -hmm. But I also agree with you. You don't necessarily know what they look like though, because everybody's changing up their pictures. Totally. Yeah. Hundred percent. And there's angles. There's right all that stuff. Right. Right. Exactly. But that's such a good point. Is how many people can really say they've truly been on a blind date? Within the last like 10 years. Yeah. Like with social media booming and stuff. Yeah. You can't really go on a blind date anymore. No. Other than the fact that you don't totally know what she looks like. So in mm-hmm. this situation, every date is a blind date, but also never a blind date. Totally. Which is kind of <gasps> weird. That's kind of sad. Yeah. Isn't that weird? That kind of makes my heart like, mm, I wonder what we just say. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll never go back. Like no, you're not going to degress technology so we'll, we'll, yeah we probably won't ever have a blind date again yeah but progress your self-control if you actually want a blind date yep come up yep but that's yeah. just scary yeah that is a little scary but it, it kind of adds a little fun to it like if yeah, it is a, a blind flare. date don't look them up just just go for it 
what if it's a weirdo? Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> you have an escape plan. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Don't look him up. A friend. But, but also bring your pepper spray. Yeah. Yeah. There <laughs> yeah. we go. There we go. A lot of crazies out there nowadays. <laughs> All right. Here's your next relationship question. Have you ever had a work crush? Ooh. I definitely have. Uh-huh. I'm just trying to think of like specifics. Totally. Yeah, like yeah. there's not one that jumps to my mind. Okay. And also like I've nannied a lot my whole life. So like if I fall in love with the dads. Or yeah. What? Like, no, no, exactly. I'm not going to be like, you such a dude. Like that was my work crush. Well, okay. But here's the thing though. Work crush doesn't mean like you're pursuing them. It's just like, oh, he's hot. Like, uh, like kind of a crush. Cause I've definitely, I think I've had a work crush except most of my jobs are like maybe just my most recent job. I work in insurance now. Okay. So like there's a pretty good size agency that I work for. Yeah. And I'm sure I've crushed on somebody that I've worked with. But before yeah. that it was like all manual labor jobs. So it's just a bunch of sweaty, dirty dudes. Yeah, dudes. Like, 100%. But- well, also my first job was Starbucks. Ooh. And like, okay. I feel like most of my guy coworkers usually swung the other way. That is, Yeah, if you work so, at Starbucks, it's probably yeah. a good chance. <laughs> but like, I wouldn't have a crush on them then. <laughs> so that sounds, right, right, right. Like, you know what I mean? So, yeah. I don't know. Honestly, like, I'm sure I have, but there wasn't someone where I was like, oh, my gosh, oh, yeah, I like, love him. Right. Is there a customer that was a regular that you were like, oh, Ooh, good question, Jake. Ooh. Yeah, have you ever crushed on a, a regular? Yeah. Okay. I would say yeah, but again, I don't remember specifics. Yeah, yeah, no, that's tough though. Like, especially if you never caught a name or anything like that, you know. No, there is definitely some people that would come in frequently, especially when I worked at golf courses. Oh, true. Because I worked at two different golf courses. Wow. In Scottsdale and in Prescott, and there definitely was, but I just like, uh, oh yeah, no yeah, there definitely was some. Uh huh. But again, like, I mean probably like ask for my number or something like that but i don't right like when am i after i'm done with that job when am i gonna ever see you again like, right true. unless you're really special like yeah yeah you really got to stand out at that point yeah because there's a lot of attractive people in the world true a lot of smoke They're, shows exactly a lot of hotties yeah that is true moral of the story if uh if you're in a relationship and it doesn't work out don't don't sweat it there's don't a lot of bodies there is there is this is very true yeah yep right on all right well here's your last relationship question What's a relationship quality that you've had to work on? I feel like that's okay. I feel like that's so hard because there's so many qualities that you should be working on in True. a relationship or without a relationship. True. So it's so hard to narrow down just one. Mm-hmm. Like it really is. Yeah. But I guess like one of the biggest things that I've learned is, which I've only been in one serious relationship. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is recently ended, but. Oh, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> it's <laughs> the next like twenty minutes. We're just crying. No, he's like such a good guy. It just wasn't the wasn't, wasn't it the wasn't one. the time. Yeah. Oh, okay. Timing. Or, I don't probably. I don't know. Okay. Here's a, a lot. Of, here's a, a lot of things. Here's a, 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 a kind of a run back question. Then, could you ever see yourself giving him a second chance if he came back into the picture? I mean, I'll stick with the answer that I gave before. If the like environment and the habits. And that those things changed. Yeah. Then maybe. But also, I think that if that stuff doesn't change, then, and me expecting a different result. You're crazy. Yeah. yeah. Totally. Right. And I want, Great him, answer. I want him to be happy. And you should be a politician. And... That was good. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Candace Owens. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I totally get it, though. But like if, if, I if, stand by that. Yeah. If he's, if, if the things that, uh, your qualities and his qualities, mm-hmm. if those, specific ones were the reasons why it didn't work out Mm -hmm. and you guys both haven't changed those then Mm -hmm. why would you try to explore that again yeah right i don't like want more hurt for him i don't want more hurt for me true i want the most most growth i think in any relationship like what you should want is to be the best version of yourself and for that person to be the best version of themselves right and if what you're doing isn't propelling you to that then yeah it's just not the right coupling yeah probably yeah yeah Yeah. but great great take yeah but basically like i think the most important thing that i learned was i think there's a narrative in today's culture that like a relationship is two half hearts that like come together right it's like 
oh, I just need someone. And I was never a girl that wanted a boyfriend. Like, okay. and I, so I never really understood that. Like, I've always been pretty independent. I love people, but I love a lot of people. Right. And I'm used to like, just kind of being out on my own. Like my parents went super hands on. Like if I want something, I go get it. Mm -hmm. But um, I think that the narrative of the culture today is very much so like it's two half hearts that come together and it makes this whole heart and my other my other half da, da, da. right but really i think like what i learned is that a relationship it's two like you're two whole hearts to begin with right but like what a relationship does is it peels back a layer from your heart and then all these wounds all these holes all these scrapes that you didn't know were there are there yeah they and surface they surface and you're right next to this other heart you guys are going to the same beat yeah a hundred percent so if you are not proactive or deciding on the same ways that you're going to not even necessarily the same ways but just like agreeing on how you're going to address those wounds and how you're going to like heal those holes and how you're going to like not heal for the other person, right? But like be partners running together yeah. towards being the best selves, like equally yoked kind of thing. Totally, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Then like, that's you're not gonna get anywhere. Right. The point of a relationship isn't for someone to complete you; it's for someone to be in addition to what you already are. Yeah, true. Great take. Yeah, that that's so good. So I feel like I just like learned that like, yeah. If you're not secure in yourself and what you believe in what you want like a relationship will draw out every good thing in you but will also draw out every bad thing in you. true yeah yeah so how are you going to cope with that mm -hmm. and how are you going to handle that mm -hmm. yeah i i think it's great like talking about addressing situations like together it's not you're not like completing each other like oh these are the areas that i lack i need somebody who's going to make up for those mm -hmm. areas it's not like that mm -hmm. something that i just heard recently and i thought it was so cool was when you're dating somebody, and this is a little bit different, but if you guys get into mm -hmm. an argument, it's not you versus her. It's yes. you and her against the issue. Yes. And I think that's, I love that. Yeah, me too. And I think that gets missed so often in our culture today because mm -hmm. we're extremely built to be like we're, we're built to be extremely selfish mm -hmm. like what is what are my needs what are my yep. wants how do i accomplish like the things that i want to get done yeah which is like great we're we're in a time period where you can totally. accomplish anything that you want but yeah. within relationships it doesn't work that way yeah and that's why i think like our parents had it better because it was more traditional back then yeah where it's like they understood the importance of working together rather mm -hmm. than like what can i do to make myself the happiest like for these next 80 years or however long you're going to live. Yeah, that's so, so true. Yeah. And also I think it's like a defense mechanism in a sense of if someone is in the wrong or someone does feel like, dang it, I messed up on this or, whoa, this part of me was exposed. It's like a defense mechanism. Well, you're wrong here. Right. Or, hey, well, this and that. Well, you did this. Well, you did that. Where it's like really like you have to understand all those layers are peeled back. Uh -huh. Trust yourself and trust that person that it's going to be worked through. True. And that that's a beautiful thing. Like brokenness is a beautiful thing. And it's not because your heart's broken. It's because we literally are, are in a broken world. We're yeah. broken people. Right. 100%. Like to begin with. Yep. And so no I just think. It. Right. Yeah. There isn't. Right. And also I feel like marriages back then too. It wasn't okay my happiness as like the husband being like how do i get my happiness and the wife being like how do i get my happiness like their happiness came from serving and loving other people right from serving and loving their and family each other. from their spouse yeah. like yeah. literally out loving each other right because you will never be able to make yourself happy sit in a dark room by yourself for 10 days tell me how happy you are yeah you're not it's happy not coming at all. from you right exactly that is such a good take and, and i come from a place where i'm a total extrovert and it seems like you're an extrovert too yeah so like we we get a lot of our energy and a lot of our spark from other mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. so like i think maybe we have a, a better understanding of that situation because if i had to sit right. in a dark room by myself for 10 days i would go insane yeah i would start cracking jokes to myself and hoping that i would yep. laugh like yep kind of thing you know what yeah. i mean so yes yeah <laughs> for real you know what i mean but be yeah. listening out those riddles trying to see if you can figure right. them out but it was an egg it was an egg the whole time oh my gosh it wasn't an ice cube tray <laughs> it was a bed yeah. the futon <laughs> that is so funny yeah that's great i think we i think we crush relationships let's let, let's take a little break Here so oh get it out got it <laughs> it's like a pterodactyl <laughs> What has four legs and a bed? Dinosaur. Yeah. <laughs> a dinosaur. <laughs> um, a pterodactyl. <laughs> All right. So, uh, oops. 
I'm just going to text. Hold on. Turn that off. My computer always does that during class, and my teachers hate it. But I know. This guy. We did that at the same time, by the way. Did we? The hiccup? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah! No, the... Oh, thing. really? Yeah, I think the so. The Midwest. <laughs> How you doing there, kiddo? Yeah. Well, we should be hitting the road. <laughs> <laughs> they got that king-size candy bar. <laughs> you got to check out the houses with the king-size candy the bar. The Oh, the Wilsons. They're a nice family. <laughs> yeah, exactly like that. <laughs> All right. Uh. So, next thing we're going to do, we're going to be, um, uh, what are we doing? <laughs> And we'll be back. <laughs> okay. All right. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to do questions for guys. Mm. So you have a couple questions for me, I think. Yes, I do. All right. I do. I do. Just off the cuff. You got them? I think so. Okay. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. All right. What is your first question? Mm, I think my first question probably is how much do you guys really tell their friends? Ooh. Because my roommates and I were literally talking about this last night. A girl and her boyfriend get in a fight. Mm -hmm. The girl's coming home. And the first thing she's doing when she's opening the door is she's going to tell her girlfriends. Or she's texting them right after. Right. And, I mean, obviously up to the gal how much information she discloses. But she's not going to be like, yeah, no, it was a great night. Right. True. Like, she's going to cry. They're going to come to her like, oh, my gosh, what's wrong? Like, Mm -hmm. girl, you do not deserve that. Yeah, But, like... (laughs) You already know they'll be getting her chocolates. True, true, of course. But um, is that yeah. is that stereotype true? Where it's like a girl walks into the apartment, a bad breakup, and the girls like literally come running and they're like, "What happened? Like, what's going on? Let's sit on the couch. Let's talk about it." Like, is that does that actually happen more often than like most people would think? Well, first, can I ask what happens with the guy? Like, okay, I, okay. like You're let's right. say You're a girl right. comes. That was the question. You're right. Like a girl comes to a guy's house, breaks up with them. Yeah. What does the guy do? What's the guy doing? Yeah, because, I mean, if everybody's there. I would say it depends on the guy. Um, I think a lot of guys would suppress Mm -hmm. and probably hide it. And then it would only come up if they, like, let's say let's say a girl came over here, broke up with me, and then went home. And then I have my two roommates home, and they're doing their own thing. Because guys don't, we're not in our business, I don't think, as much as girls. I don't totally know because I've never lived with girls. Right, right, right. But I would assume that, you know, it's a little bit different of a dynamic. Totally. So let's say a girl broke up with me. She leaves. I come out of my room. A question would probably arise once I like went out to the kitchen Mm -hmm. and like they could tell that something was wrong. Mm -hmm. Because for me personally, I kind of wear my emotions on my sleeve. Yeah. I'm not necessarily trying to tell people like how I feel, but I just, I can't help it. Yeah. So then I'd walk out and somebody would go like, what's wrong? What's going on? And And then I'd probably be like, yo, this just happened. Yeah. To the extent of what I'd tell them. I don't know. Yeah. You know, it's kind of up to case by case. But totally. My assumption is that we would tell our guy friends way less than the girls would tell their girlfriends. Yeah. It'd probably just be like, yeah, whatever. Stacy just broke up with me. Uh, You know, this was the reason. This is why we're not working out. They'd probably ask like, um, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to try to get her back or are you just going to let it go? And then whatever Mm. answer I give is probably the end of the conversation. They're probably going to be like, oh, sorry, man. Like, that sucks. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be all right. I'll be fine. And that's yeah. it. That's probably it. So that's so interesting because a girl wouldn't ask, okay, so what are you going to do about it? Like, are you going to try and get them back? Are you going to try to... Oh, really? That would No. A girl would first ask all the details of what happened, oh. how it happened, the yeah. feelings that led up to that. Let them process. Let them be sad. Oh. Then ask. Like interesting. Maybe even a few days later. Yeah. Oh, wow. Interesting. Yeah. No, guys are like straight to the point. Like, what's the... What's the plan of action? Like, what right, are you, right, right. you going to do the next? The logic, yeah. step by step. True. And we talked about this before we started yeah. shooting. Is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. guys are uh, tend to be a little bit more logical in mm-hmm. situations. So it's like, okay, what are you going to do now? Like, what is your next step? What are you yeah. planning on doing now that this happened? Right, right. And then whatever answer you give the other dude, it's probably like, oh, okay, yeah. Well, hopefully yeah. that works. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, whether it's I'm going to go after her again, I'm going to try to make it work. Right. Or it's, no, I'm going to let her go. Then the dude's going to be like, okay, well, yeah, hopefully that, that pans out for you. Yeah. And that's it. Wow, that's so interesting. Yeah, that is super interesting. On the opposite spectrum for me, it's like girls are like, tell me every detail. Right, right, and right. And then it's not like, it's not like, how are you going to like take the next step? It's just more like, how do you feel? Right, right. Which exactly. is super interesting to me. We're more in, in the moment feelings. Right. For sure. Right. Because like we talked about that wave. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know, down. your feelings could change the next day. True. Like they could be like, oh my gosh, like 
I hated him anyway. This was, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And then I said, you're like, oh, I need and, to. Right. And there's yeah. always those stages for sure. sure. But with both genders. Totally. It's, I, I just don't think it says outwardly for guys. That makes it's sense. It's more internal. Yeah. You kind of battle it by yourself. Yeah. No, that totally makes sense. Great question. <laughs> Great question. <laughs> 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 okay. Do you have a Do you have a second question for me? Ooh, yes. Okay. This was something that my dad always told me. Um, and I just feel like a lot of girls can say that they've heard this before for sure, but that guys always come back. Oh, and I yeah, just yeah. think that's a very interesting question because it's like always like in each situation. Yeah. Like, what does that really mean? Mm hmm. Um, I would say most guys always come back, which mm-hmm. is kind of a double entendre. Is that the right word? Is that right? Most guys always come back. Uh, mm. so I would say I can only speak for myself. Yeah. There are girls that I've talked to and it didn't end well and I never went back, never hit them up again. Mm-hmm. Don't have any intentions of ever texting them again. I'll mm-hmm. still be thinking about them for like a, a recent situation that had happened. We ended kind of poorly. We were like really close for mm-hmm. a short amount of time mm-hmm. and then it ended bad. I haven't like hit her up once and I yeah. don't have any intention to, but it did linger for a long time. Interesting. So why... Why wouldn't you not hit her up? Because I know it's not the right thing to do. For her, for you. And I'm also, and from maybe from like a selfish standpoint, I don't want get to rejected? like. No, not get rejected because I don't know how it would play out. Yeah. I just don't want her to feel like, oh, like he came back. Like he came back. I knew he was going to come back. I really, I yeah. hate that feeling. Mm-hmm. So maybe that's like the, the selfish aspect of the mm-hmm. situation. But like in that situation, I have no intentions of ever hitting her up again because it's just like. Especially when she did mm. something to me, I'm not, I, you know, right, well, right, what, right, what right, am right. I going to do to resolve the situation? Kind of back to what we were talking about right. earlier. If I just go back and nothing's changed, yeah, what are we doing? We're just spinning in circles. Like, yeah, there's no, there's no there's point. No point. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. yeah. I, I do think a lot of guys will eventually go back though. Yeah. So I don't know if if my situation specifically is an outlier. Right. But guys tend to. Maybe if they're drinking a little bit, they might right. hit up an ex at some point. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. I think, like, pride and rejection come into play for sure. For sure. Yeah. But yeah. that's super interesting. That is interesting. <laughs> that's a good ah. question. <laughs> All right. <laughs> very, very good. Okay. You got a third question for me? Um. Okay. Yes. So, I've heard that, like, straight up like when a guy meets a girl they mm-hmm. can tell if they're gonna be like wifey friend etc yeah. or just like you know mingling mm-hmm. but i'm just curious like it seems like many guys don't go for the wifey mm. or they're afraid of how to do that mm. and then i don't know like if a wifey material makes the first move can she still play hard to get? Like, mm, interesting. Yeah, so yeah. So I guess it's kind of two questions. Like, can a girl make the first move and still be hard to get? Yeah. Because I feel like sometimes, like, guys almost need that little push of like, yeah, I am interested. Yes. But for sure. also, then it's like, you don't want to when you take let them kind of take the reins. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So two questions. So first question is, can you make the first move? And mm-hmm. also still play hard to get. Yeah. Um, and then the second one is um, wifey, like kind of why right. why don't guys see the value in a wifey kind of girl? Or do they know right off the bat? Okay. And yeah, are yeah. they, is it just like intimidation? Like what is it? Or like what makes a girl wifey to a Right. Guy? Okay. Okay. So starting off, um, I think we've talked about this a couple times. I think it's so dope when a girl makes the first move because- mm-hmm. Guys are supposed to be like the the confident, dominant, like we're yeah. supposed to be making the first move. When a girl does it, it's kind of like, whoa, like, mm. like that's so sick. Why did she do that? Mm-hmm. You know, obviously she's very interested in me. I don't have to worry about right. like acting a certain way to, right, to right. impress her or anything. So first first moves on girls' parts, dope. We should normalize that as much yeah. as possible. Yeah. Um, and then I also think that you can still play hard to get because like I had a situation where a girl came up and talked to me and then she was like pretty honest First time we yeah. hung out, that was like, I'm not looking for anything yeah. too, too like physical right now or serious right, right now. Like, I'm, yeah. let's just develop a friendship first. Wow. Dope. Okay. Uh-huh. Definitely clicked with me because I was like, she's interested. I'm interested. Right. We're still going to take it slow. Yeah. Sick. Very cool. Uh-huh. Um, uh huh. And then the second question, 
what kind of can can guys recognize a wifey right away? Mm-hmm. I don't know if we can recognize a wifey pretending to like she's my wifey, mm. but we can definitely recognize like oh she's going to be a good wife. Mm, that's Does yeah, that, make that sense? makes sense. Because we were kind of talking about a guy earlier who were like yeah. he's going to be a great husband someday. Right, right, right. Not necessarily my Mine. husband. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. That, yeah. Okay, so hundred percent. So I think we can recognize a wifey, but it takes time to like develop the relationship and the connection right. to be like oh no no that's that's my wifey like that's who yeah. I want to marry. Right, right. And d- when a guy gets his mind set on, that's who I want to marry. Mm-hmm. Or like, almost like that. I don't know if you believe in love at first sight, but mm-hmm. like how I knew from the minute that she started speaking or the minute mm-hmm. that I saw her, do they ever let that go? Because I feel like girls, that can change. Um, so I think I think it's the same for guys too. It can change. Because yeah, sure. like a lot of guys, when they start dating a girl and they date for a long time, yeah, definitely if you date for like more than a year, two years, three years, at mm-hmm. at the probably the the first moment that you met her you're like this is my wife right but the problem with guys is, is sometimes we lose feelings and we don't understand why we're losing feelings mm-hmm. and it's probably because it's coming from a place of we're getting comfortable we don't know why it's not that honeymoon stage anymore mm. so it's like oh i don't feel the same way i felt in the first four months we dated why don't i feel that way yeah. am i losing interest mm. and it's not necessarily that because in the last podcast we talked about Sometimes you have to choose love rather than. Right. Uh, sometimes you have to choose to love rather than right. choosing to love. Yeah. Or, I just said the same to thing. To be loved. Yeah. Or sometimes. <laughs> you have to choose to love yeah. than to be in love. Yeah. Th- yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. No. One hundred percent. We got there. It took us a second, but we got there. No, but that totally makes sense. Do you think that a lot of times, poor actions? Because I hear girls talk about so much after the six months or after the four or three months. He was right. really sweet in the beginning. Right. But then he really fizzled out. Do you think that that is a result of character or that that's a result of, no, they really do like you or they really did like you. It's just not the honeymoon phase anymore. Mm. So there's not that same zest. Tough because I think both. But Mm. I think the right man is like we just talked about is going to choose to love. Right. Because he knows that he loves his girl. Right. Even if things do start fizzling out, he's going to revert back to like well but no i do love her i know that i love her so i'm right. going to like choose to be in a loving manner right right. and right. i think that's the right guy totally but i think a lot of guys think that they love somebody mm-hmm. and then after it kind of fizzles out they're like like oh, i don't have to put up the charades anymore i don't have to mm. take her on nice dates i don't have to you know treat her like a princess anymore and then that's probably more of a character quality issue mm. if yeah. that makes sense mm-hmm. yeah yeah solid good stuff <laughs> I feel like I just went to class yeah. Jake's like taking notes back there <laughs> Dope. Uh, yeah there you go no, I, oh yeah nice wait was that actually for this no he's kidding no. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that's it's for working <laughs> up on the Amazon chain <laughs> right exactly how do I get to that next step yeah. Jeff Bezos agenda yeah Jeff Bezos <laughs> taking over the sun yeah. oh, I love it all right yeah I bet you he's bought some stuff from Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> well, also, this is super random, but what nails do you guys like for girls? Uh, I don't think it matters. Really? Uh, maybe color, but like type of nails? Are you saying like type of nails? No, like like what? Like French, like white, like what kind of nails? I don't even know what that means, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know what a French nail is. Like a French nail? It's like clear and then like a white tip. Oh, and a tip. Okay. Yeah. Um, Those, to me, seem like a mom nail. Um, but... I would say um, basic nail painted like and then it's specific colors. So like the colors that I like. So like turquoise, oh. like a purple color, like a light purple is kind of yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. Sometimes like red if they're like yeah. feisty. You're kind of yeah. like, oh, red nails. Like you are you are kind of. You got a little flair. Yeah, you got something to you. <laughs> There's something about you. But I think it's very personalized for guy to guy. And I think it's also subconscious. I don't think yeah. guys are like, oh, she's got black nails. Like that's my right, type. Right, 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 right. Not, not yeah. that specific. Yeah. But, True. Yeah. What kind of nails do you usually go after? Do you try to paint your nails in a certain way to like catch attention? No, but I feel like I always go back to the same nails because I'm like, I like them. Uh huh. And then I'm like, huh. Like, I wonder if this is just me or if this is like everyone's taste. Mm, you know what I mean? Interesting. I don't think so. I, I really don't. I yeah. think everybody has their own like kind of. Yeah, their own take on it. Yeah, their, their flavor palette or whatever you call yeah, it. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Yeah. I could see that. Shout out nails. I was mostly just thinking that because I just got my nails in yesterday and I don't like them. Really? Yeah, that's why I was like. Mm. Let's see them. I don't like them. Oh, is it like red or orange? Red? It's like orange? it was supposed to be red. Okay. But it like came it's out as like fiery 
Yeah, it's kind of like a ready orange. Yeah, and but then and then the the marriage the white. meal. Yeah, With, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for even, a ring. <laughs> yeah, I did not even notice that. Wait. Oh no! <laughs> you but, don't, <laughs> definitely don't like them now. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. No, they're cool. Oh I like them. <laughs> they're kind of fun. Everyone is asking for Halloween nails, and I was like, no. Ooh. Yeah, that makes sense actually. I don't even like Halloween. Kind of- <laughs> don't really no it's a stupid holiday yeah. like free candy up, oh, yeah oh wait actually <laughs> yeah mm, we did I'll talk about back. that yeah. take it back. <laughs> funny all right so next game we're gonna play it's called what stan are you okay this is how it works i'm gonna give you a this or that question okay you have to tell me which one you like better Ooh. okay so so here's your first one and this will give you kind of an insight on, on what it's gonna be like mm-hmm. nerds or jocks Okay, I feel like this is so obvious. <laughs> jocks. Jocks. Always. Big jock girl. Do you know yeah. do you know which sport is most attractive to you? Hockey. <laughs> no, actually no. What? I don't I don't like I don't like the long hair. You don't like the hockey guys? Mm, no. Nah. You like the clean cut. Yes. Do you like jockeys? You like, yes. Like no like jockeys. Oh like, like guys horse who, riders? <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, like short guys. Well, unfortunately, I'm over five foot five, so I don't think that's gonna work out for me. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. What what sport does stand out to you? I don't even know if there's one specific sport, but like basketball, mm. football, yeah. baseball. Okay. Or just like even if you don't play in college right now, but like you played in high school, and even just like the jockey look, like a mm. backwards hat. Oh yeah. Like good shoes. Right. Like. I just think it's embarrassing, like, if you're uncoordinated. Like, oh, yeah. you're supposed to be catching me when I fall. <laughs> right. When I'm falling for you. You <laughs> right, know? So, right, right, I, right. I don't know. <laughs> right. That makes sense. I think if, if I was going to pick a sport, it's, it's going to differentiate between guys and girls, obviously. Yeah. Um, Cliche answer would be, like, volleyball. I knew you it. Know, like, I it, knew it. it. Probably volleyball. Soccer yeah. girls are cool. Yeah. There's a, um, a stereotype that soccer girls are kind of crazy, though. Really? Yeah, and then softball girls usually hit for the other team. <laughs> <laughs> and then I would say, like, what, volleyball and basketball are probably the two? Yeah. And, I mean, I don't know. I'd say volleyball if I were a probably guy. Probably volleyball. Yeah. If I was, yeah, if I was a guy. <laughs> 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 I would go volleyball. But you're, you're going, like, baseball, football, basketball. Yeah, and actually I didn't think about, like, Sam volleyball is cool. Oh, too. yeah, That's super cool. And, th- and he's going to be tall, too. Yeah. 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 Do you like taller guys? I feel like, I can, like, I don't know what my type is. You don't have a type? I don't think so, but I hate when people say that. Okay. Like, if you're attractive and you're nice and you have the qualities that I'm looking for, then, like, I'll give it a shot. Mm. You know what I mean? So, like, look at your past, the, the past three guys that you right. either dated or had a thing with. Yeah. Were there any similarities or are they completely different? Mm. Well, I feel like it's so hard, too, because some of them I didn't really have that, like, feelings for, if that makes sense. Yeah. So, but I would say all in general, pretty tall. Okay. Athletic. Um, Stylish? Do they have good style? Yeah, you can't have bad style. Yeah, no. But also, oh. I don't like when guys have too good of style. I oh, think right. it's weird. Like, outshines you a little bit. It's like, are you, like, too eccentric kind of thing? Right. Or, like, if they're like, oh, my gosh, I'm a big thrifter or whatever. Yeah. It's, like, low-key a turn-off to me. I'm like, really? oh, I'm like, you shop in the Goodwill Jake, bins? Jake's a good, uh, huh. a, big, a big thrift shopper. Are uh, you? Only only because it's recent. Yeah. He just well, like, you it. can be a th- yeah true uh-huh. you can be a thrifter but like when guys like wear like eccentric stuff uh-huh. like they're wearing like i don't know like this cool like yeah like funky really funky hoodie that i got with these funky like right. i'm just I'm like mm, mm, too like much. give me the basics like some right. khakis and a button-up shirt no no 100 percent. but that's like what i like like a good t-shirt right like nice like Lulu Nike shorts like oh, or yeah, some you, you know like workout shorts mm-hmm. backwards hat like you're dressing up khakis like a yeah, nice yeah. button up just don't want anything too crazy too too much yeah, yeah. We, we're not looking for that yeah good stuff but well, oh but like any kind of jewelry on a guy I think is fire you do like jewelry on a guy yes like rings what what, what if he has like a uh, ton of rings mm-mm. I don't know if I'm into that to be more honest. like necklaces? more like necklaces necklaces okay. I love. <laughs> <laughs> 
just make sure mine's out. <laughs> no, but like a gold chain will do someone. Yeah, it'll it'll definitely improve a look. Like it kind of gives yes. you an aesthetic a little bit. Yes. For agree. sure. Agree. I would have to agree with that. I'm going to go jocks over nerds. Yeah. Probably. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of cute, like nerdy, geeky girls. Yeah. Um, but I probably would navigate towards like an athletic girl more often than not. Yeah. Probably just because that's kind of who I am. Like yeah. I was kind of athletic, so it's it, it's more comfortable maybe. <laughs> I mean, I'm just kind of like, athletic I myself. Like, really? I go as far as? <laughs> no, just kidding. I really wasn't. I'm I'm the definition of average, right down the middle. But, <laughs> but no, that's probably my type. I would say I go more towards like athletic girls. Yeah. Beach volleyball girls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know who you are. Yeah, you know who you are. All right, here's your next one. Shower or bath? What's like the context? <laughs> like in general? Hygiene? I don't know. Like <laughs> cleaning yourself? Like both. They both have their special purposes. Right. They're both nice. Which one do you appreciate more? A shower. Really? Because it's efficient. Yeah. Like yep, to, to run the bath, to sit in the bath. Like I always love the idea of a good bath. I'm like, this is going to be so nice. Like I'm going to get a face mask and a candle and whatever. Right. That whole thing. And Netflix. then I'm in there for like four minutes and I'm like, okay, I'm bored. What's the next yeah, thing? Yeah, 100%. That's so, me too. I've taken, I, I could probably count how many times I've taken a bath in my life. Yeah. Like including when I was little. Like yeah. I haven't taken a bath since, I can't even remember my last bath. Unless a yeah. jacuzzi counts. Like, yeah. For real. So I take showers all the time and I'm going to take shower over bath any day of the week. Yeah. Because it's so efficient. Yeah. You get it done. You're clean. You're good to go. Mm-hmm. You have other things to do. Yeah. And it's yeah. singing in the shower, not singing in the bathtub for true, a reason. True. True that. So I'd have to agree. All right. Well, shout out showers. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your next one. Fan or no fan when you're sleeping? Ooh. I'm not really a fan of a fan. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that was Ew. cheesy. <laughs> but I'm really, oh my gosh, why did I just do that? But no, I'm really not. Like, I mean, it depends. I feel like I'm always freezing. Yeah. And I want the room to be a little bit cold, like colder so I can snuggle up with blinkies. Mm -hmm. But if it's too cold, then no. But I love my white noise. So okay. maybe not a fan, but white noise. You play white noise every night when you go to sleep. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you ever play ASMR before you go to bed? No. No. You that said is ASMR weird. And I was like, oh no. You? No ASMR is like. It's like people like talk in microphones and they're like. Yeah. Yes. But I've heard there's like other ones that are like more interesting. Like it plays like music that's like subconscious oh. for this thing or for that thing. Oh, and interesting. I'm like, that is yeah. So I might look into that. Yeah. Let me know but if you uh, find results. any uh, results. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for real. Yeah, no, I would. I always have a fan on. It yeah. probably absolutely runs up the electricity, but I, that fan right there goes nonstop. Really? Always. Always. And so little. You got to upgrade. Yeah, I do. Once once the budget is, uh, is good Upgraded. for it, yeah, we'll get a better fan. Yeah, the box fan. Well, I had a box fan all of college. And it did me wonders. And that one's actually running. Like, that one probably hasn't stopped running in, like, six years. Other than to plug it into a different wall. Stop. For real. I'm a big That's fan That's an OG guy. box fan, then. Yeah, 100%. 10 years. Yeah. Yeah, he's been kicking for a while. <laughs> <laughs> he's yeah. been kicking, literally. Yeah. No, I'm a big fan head. I need a, a fan. I'm a big fan head. I'm a big fan head. I need a fan at night. And I low-key need a fan just, like, while I'm doing anything. I need, like, the white really? noise in the background. And, yeah. like, the, the I'm, like, I need cool air. Yeah. Especially in yeah. Arizona, you know? Yes, it's so hot. Yeah, but I would agree. interesting. So I was kind of expecting you to say like, oh, I need a fan. I, I thought everybody slept with fans. Not necessarily, though. I feel like, I don't know. <laughs> I know. It's like too quiet. Yeah, but that's like, why you have the white noise. True. Yeah, that you does know? make up for it. So I'd say like you're kind of in between on that one. Yeah, I would definitely say I'm in between. Yeah. I especially needed it when I had that cricket in my room. Yeah, true. Oh, see, that... Uh, mm -mm. I don't know. We get a lot of crickets in Glendale. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh, that sounds like the boonies cricket. No, see that yeah, that's what boonies. would get me. If yeah. there is a cricket, I would be like, I would leave the room really? to be honest. I, get I would used sleep to in the living now, room. To be honest, I like don't even recognize them anymore. It's bad. <laughs> just, we we tell them to be quiet during the shoots though. So, yeah, yeah, we got a family of crickets under the fridge. No, uh, -uh. Uh, yeah. Actually. Yeah. Pretty sure they're like building an army down there. 
<laughs> oh boy. <laughs> All right, here's your next one. Mac or PC? I don't even really know what a PC is. It's like honest. anything like, other anything than a other, Mac. Okay, yeah. so it's irrelevant. So like Dell, Windows. Oh, it means nothing to me. Yeah. That means nothing Doesn't even, to me. Why are we even talking about this? Yeah, this it's either is not Mac a question. or Mac. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big Apple guy. Like all of my products are Apple. Um, you know, like Mac, Mac, te- uh, MacBook. Everything that I use is going to be Mac. Yes. So like I'm a diehard for sure. If somebody was like, "Oh, like, do you need to borrow like my PC charger?" I'd be like, "What the? Who? This is, this Where? This is built in 1974. <laughs> I know. What am I supposed to use this? Like, for? what am I supposed to dial? Yeah, and is this supposed to it? start a fire for me? What is it? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm a I'm a big Mac head. I know that there are a lot of guys though that are like into gaming, coding, you. But programming. that's so. If you're into gaming, you don't like gamer guys. No. Really. I actually hate really like yes okay specific games or just like spending too much time on video games like if you're playing like a little 2k or whatever yeah. like you do yep. with your buddies like yep. okay yep. i get it like it's fun it's a social event right. but if you're sitting in your room playing video games all day or even for like two hours of the day i'm like like i'm sorry if a guy's texting me and i'm like okay what are you doing right now I'm like oh playing video games <laughs> really interesting good to know because you how much more can you be doing with your life right now yeah true you're wasting time kind of thing yeah yeah i'm sure that there are multiple like categories of things that people do that are like you're wasting your time but i true. understand why girls see video games it's like you're not doing anything productive yeah. why are you wasting yeah. all this time on this yeah if it's like with your friends your buddies and you have them on the headset in a moderation i get it yeah but to me the most unattractive thing is to visualize myself as a wife with kids and my husband's gaming while i make dinner yeah interesting uh, like gag me yeah, like that like that would be not, horrible i get it but like in moderation in moderation okay, right just don't tell me about it yeah <laughs> i don't i don't need to know about your kill streaks yeah <laughs> right exactly makes sense i get it i totally get it i i can see where video games would be not attractive but. yeah all right here's your last one roadrunner or buffalo chip Ooh, <laughs> all my friends call it buffalo yep <laughs> but <laughs> why i don't know <laughs> just because it's stupid and funny yeah. but i haven't even gone to buffalo chip yet ever no oh really but i've gone to roadrunner so many times yeah same yeah roadrunner is so, the new move I, I would say that buffalo chip was like when i was in college nobody even knew about roadrunner no way it was always buffalo chip everybody went to buffalo yeah. chip or um what's that other one the diamond something diamond but yeah, no, I've I've definitely been to Roadrunner more than Buffalo Chip now, mm-hmm. and I'd probably pick Roadrunner. Really? Yeah, I'd yeah. say so. It's very fun there. It is. It's got good vibes. It does, but I feel like also it totally depends on the night. Yep. And it depends on the crowd for if sure. It's, if it's dead, it's boring. Right. 100%. But that's any, that's anywhere. anything. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Like ten plus people, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That is true. That the, the fun aspect of Roadrunner is you know that you're going to see people that you know there. Exactly. So exactly. As long fun. as you're not going on like a random Tuesday night. Right. Exactly. And yeah. then if you are, you got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> that's worse than gaming. Yeah. <laughs> you better be a cowboy. <laughs> you better be riding a bull or something. <laughs> swing dancing is so fun. It is fun. It is a good time. Yeah. Shout out Country Bars. Shout out Arizona Country Bars. Yeah. If you guys want to sponsor the episode, you probably could. Feel free to. <laughs> Dope. Oh, seriously. All right. Last segment we're going to do. We're going to play cute or cringe. Ooh. This is okay. how it works. I'm going to give you a prompt. You're going to tell me cute, you like it, or cringe, you don't like it. Ooh. Okay. All right. So here's your first one. Cute or cringe, frat guys. <sighs> I think I know where this is going. <laughs> I was going to say cringe, but then I was like, me, why did you start smiling? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a trick question. We're not playing head scratcher anymore. Um, They're cute, usually. Yeah. Like to physically. Look at. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. To yeah. look at. Like the frat boy look. And then the personality? Like look. No. Uh, not it. So it's not, it's like a no, but like you can be eye candy. Right. So kind of like in between. Yeah. Like, you are cute, but you are cringe. Yeah, you are cute, but I know that, like... This is not going to end well. Yeah. Right? I'm not going to bring you home to mom. No. Yeah. Mm-mm. I'm not going to bring you home to my house, because I've seen what your house looks like, and uh, it's just disgusting. Yeah, it's nasty. Yeah. Ugh. All right, so cute slash cringe. How about you, how about you Jake? Cute or... What did you say? <laughs> the Pat's house, low-key. Yeah. No, no, like, Time's frat set. boy houses are, like, sometimes really scary. Like, I've seen some nasty... Oh, yeah, for sure. Nasty houses. Yeah, there's some gross houses out there. 
pretty tough to look at for sure. All right, we're going cute slash cringe on that one. Here's your next one. Cute or cringe, Desert Rose Pizza Pub. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> cute. Cute. I'm going to say cute adorable. on that one too. Yeah. That's actually where me and Maggie met. Yeah. Was that Desert Rose? Desert Rose. That yeah. was the like Roadrunner. Yep. But like on steroids. Yeah. This was the pattern back in the day, back when we were youngins. Yeah. We'd hit up Desert Rose until like 11. You'd mm-hmm. get a couple drinks, maybe pizza, eat your food. And then you go directly to Bullshooters. That's what we did. I don't know what yeah. you guys would do, but yeah. we'd go to Bullshooters and that's like a pool bar, like a billiards, yeah. whatever, club. Yeah. And it's like this big warehouse with like 40 pool tables. Yeah. And that's pretty much where you'd end up for the rest of the night. Yeah. Some people would go to Desert Rose and then go home after. Right. Some people would do the whole thing. And then some people would show up at uh, Bullshooters. Bullshooters. Yeah. yeah. So it was yeah. just fun. It was a good dynamic, but yeah. it kind of transitioned to Roadrunners. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Like I know there's like thursday nights now people go to stingers or something yeah that's what i've heard too but to me like also i feel like i'm over a lot of those people like that crowd like it's still the same people since freshman year interesting because yeah it is like it's the same circle and they're doing the same thing and i'm just kind of like uh Mm. okay like let's do something else yeah yeah right totally i get that yeah we had the same things like when i was in college it was probably different places but yeah. You kind of just get burnt out eventually. You're like, are we still doing this? Every yeah, Thursday night? yeah. Is this really a thing anymore? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And my my problem with stingers, um, I can't believe they still charge people. Like Did they charge to get in? Five dollars a head. Oh. <gasps> yeah, I know. Desert Rose and Bullshooters doesn't have a, a cover fee. So, and Bullshooters, the coolest part about them is those two dollars P- two dollar PBRs. Yeah. Which I loved. So. That I, that is insane to me that they charge. Yeah, isn't that like crazy? Like you're a bar in Phoenix. Right. In Glendale, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, chill out. In the boondocks. Yeah. Settle relax. down there, bud. We have crickets, <laughs> bud. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <the> crickets, bud. <laughs> All right, here's your next one. Cuter cringe, bubble mint gum. Oh, my God. <laughs> Adorable. <laughs> Adorable. That is so cute. We love bubble if mint I gum. If I actually saw someone that, like, chewed bubble mint gum, like, all the time, like, 24-7. Would that be hubby? Yeah. <laughs> like I know there's hubba bubble gum, but that would be hubby that, that would be that, hubby. That's it's hubby bubble bu- mint. That's hubby bubby gum. Yes, yeah. it yeah. is. <laughs> uh, thank you for finishing my sentence. I, I got you. I got trying you. to get across. <laughs> Shout out bubble mint gum. Yeah. I uh, I am gonna show a picture right here, but I'm also gonna look it up because I need to see what it looks oh, like. Oh, I have some in my pocket. Oh, do you? First I first hand so. experience. <laughs> Let's see it. What does it look like? Wait, I think it's like melted now though, okay. my jeans. Do you want me to look it up online quick? You can. But it just looks like this. It's orbit. Okay. And it has like the best flavor. It's a little bit minty. It's a little bit sweet. And it blows the best bubbles. Is it bubble, like bubble gum flavored and mint flavored? Yeah. Okay, I get it. It's like so, but it's not like, it's just so unique. It's, it's just, so good. There's it's nothing so like good. it. Yeah. But <laughs> I sound like so. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds so white right now. Oh, I love it. Ah, it's so but funny. they are small, so you have to like take two pieces to blow good uh, bubbles. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So for your money's worth. Yeah. But for your happiness, <sighs> so worth it. Always keep a stick in your. And pocket. if you're trying to marry Maggie, like just start chewing that right now, <laughs> just in case you run into her. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here is your. Uh, oh, here's uh, we got two more. Here's your next one. Cuter cringe. Fellowship of Christian athletes. Ooh. My dad works for them, FCA. so I'm gonna have to say cute. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out, Mr. Mitz. Hopefully you're Mr. watching. <laughs> but it, I think it depends on the school, though, too, because some of them are like, okay, yeah. like a little awkward, uncomfortable, True. like unorganized. Yep. But I mean, that's almost any organization or club or outreach program. It, yeah, if it's big enough, you're gonna right. have good and bad. Totally, exactly. Right. Like you can't say all politicians are bad. There'll be some. There'll be some. There'll be some good. There'll be some bad. Right. Like. Mm-hmm. so would you say leaning towards cute or would you say cute slash cringe but also it's like because it is my dad's it's kind of cringe oh interesting because yeah, it's yeah. like i am the middle child i like to be like i did this yeah right right <laughs> this unique is me. yeah right yeah so but i will support my dad no matter what shout out and it is a great organization but it's not mine yeah so what do you say it's my dad's what are you saying cringe <laughs> I shouldn't say that. It's okay. I love it. You have your own opinion. Not not the organization itself, but just your personal perspective on FCA. Yeah. Could be cringe. That's fine. I don't yeah. think you're saying like the fellowship of Christian athletes is a cringy right. concept. Right, right, right. So I'm with you on that one. I actually yeah. respect the fact that you said cringe because it's your dad's. That yeah. makes sense. It's like, it's the same thing as like, if you're a PK, a pastor's kid, yeah. 
you are going to have a different perspective on the church that your dad preaches at right. because you are the PK. You're like, yeah, it's not, as, it's not that sweet. Like I'm yeah. around it all the time. I know exactly yeah. what goes on, you know? Yeah. So I respect your take actually. Oh, I appreciate that. Yeah, of I feel a little guilty. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay. Next one. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> all right. Here's your last cuter cringe. Cuter cringe. Feet pick DMs. People asking for gang, feet. <laughs> gang, 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 gang. That is fan. like. Do you get those a lot? Eh. But it's always weird people. Yeah. Do you know what course. I mean? It's not a normal They're, dude. Yeah, exactly. For a foot pick. No, I. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess it's true. But like, well, yeah, it's cringe because it's like so and so from. And then it's literally another country right. who is married with four kids is asking for feet pics. Right. Like, oh, yeah. Like, that's so gross. I just don't understand the concept in general. So I think they sell them. Well, yeah, it will. Have you ever have you ever thought about it? Like somebody's like, I'm going to give you a thousand dollars right now to your Venmo if you send me a foot pic where you're like. Tuition. <laughs> <laughs> there goes my debt. <laughs> well, I mean, I think we'd all be a liar if we haven't thought about, about it. it right i've thought about it but i also wouldn't trust instagram or dms or stuff like that right but like on the golf course when Ooh. that has happened oh people have asked for foot pics on the golf course or just like oh well, yeah really that and like the, see that's tough because it's like uh the hundreds right in front of me right now and oh. i know i could take it yeah. i'll be honest with you i would i would sell a foot pic for a mcchicken like <laughs> like yeah <laughs> If somebody wants to look at my feet, I'll take it God for bless a, their heart. I'll take it for a, a, a two cheeseburger meal at McDonald's. Nah. -uh. No. But you're gonna get me for Usty? Yeah. Sure. Shout out. But you gotta drive. <laughs> yeah. The gas money. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Ain't using these feet to walk nowhere. Oh, oh, no way. Yeah, you better treat me like a princess. So feet picks, DMs, um, Cringe. Cringe, yeah. <laughs> That's fair. I kind of expected that. If somebody one. said cute to that, I'd just be concerned. You'd be like, okay, well, you need to, mm. you need to go to FCA, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. All right. Well, that was our last cuter cringe. So, Maggie, that wraps up the episode. Ah, uh, thank you so much for having me. This is so fun. Of course. I laugh so much, my stomach is gonna hurt. <laughs> yeah, great. Me too. I had a blast today. Uh -huh. Guys, thanks so much for coming and showing up and being here. We will catch you next Monday. Peace. Yeah. Talking about a cell.